On a warm summer's evening In an Uber to Chipotle The driver played the gambler And I thought up this parody So I dressed like Kenny Rogers <laughs> Kenny Rogers? Really? Oh, that's good. It had to be done. There are probably many thousands of unique playing card decks in existence, but ask somebody on the street to name one, and chances are the word bicycle will pop up. The writer back is the standard when it comes to playing cards. Many magicians will use nothing else because they know the universally common bicycle deck ensures spectators won't bat an eyelash or suspect a thing even if the deck is filled with gaps. Some card designers take that opportunity to create decks that hearken or pay homage to the standard bicycle rider back. This deck, the DKNG playing cards, often called the wheel deck, does just that. Quickly, before we dive in, I just want to take this moment to thank you guys for watching and for the support and for helping me to try to make this the go-to place for cinematic card reviews. And for those of you who are new, we have a great episode and more in store and we hope that you'll consider subscribing. Also, there is a contest and a prize winner to announce at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I also want to take this second to announce the launch of the Gentleman Wake Patreon page. It's a great way to continue supporting what we've created here on this channel and we really hope that you'll check it out it's also a great way for us to continue to give back to you guys there'll be a link in the description below don't worry i'll make sure to remind you guys at the end of the video to take a look without further ado here we go Originally available in the standard blue and red colorways, the wheel deck designed by DKNG Studios is now also available in green. All three tuck boxes are letter pressed on high quality matte cardstock and feature embossed white ink in the case of the red and blue cases and debossed brown ink on recycled brown stock in the case of the green. The eco-friendly green deck tuck case seems to be raw unbleached stock and as a result the box feels a bit more textured to the touch. Despite the rough tactile experience the box still feels premium. The blue and red boxes are gold foil sealed and the green deck includes a green stamp seal. The design on the tuck box is uniform for all three varieties. The front features the words US Regulation Playing Cards by DKNG over an image of the back design which can be seen unobstructed by the text on the back of the box. The design is a two-way image of two bicycles seemingly sharing the wheels between them. There are two small skulls, another playing card staple at one end. Interestingly, although the main part of the design is two-way, the card backs themselves are not. The pips in the corner of the encompassing frame give away orientation of the cards. This does offer a bit of utility for magic as spectators aren't likely to catch the difference when they aren't expressly looking for it. The bicycle centric design is no accident as I've talked about. This is a modern reimagining of the classic bicycle deck as mentioned on the Art of Play website. The top of the boxes read Poker and 1984, presumably the year of incorporation for DKNG. DKNG are the initials of designers and founders Dan Culkin and Nathan Goldman. The bottom of the box includes the traditional ad copy and one side reads Made in the USA, an air cushion finish, and the other features lyrics to the song made famous by Kenny Rogers, the 1979 hit The Gambler. You've got to know when to hold them. When to hold them! When to hold them! Hey, the neighbors can hear you, okay? Okay. Come to bed soon? Yes. And pick this up yeah. too? Yeah. Love you. Love you. Anyway, the cards are printed on thin crushed stock by the United States Playing Card Company and you can imagine this means they handle great. They are modern cut, pharaohs and fans are easy and flourishing looks great. The cards are great for gameplay and magic due in part to the easily recognizable faces and the high readability of the indices. This isn't to say that the faces are standard, this is a completely custom deck. The red and blue decks feature metallic inks on every card, with the split design of the pips taking full advantage of this. Aside from the different pip design, the placement is also unique. The green deck foregoes the metallic inks, unfortunately, in order to keep the brown and green motif alive, although I think they probably could have easily introduced a metallic bronze or brass color that would have been in keeping with the palette. Of the three decks, the red deck is my favorite. The gold tones play off the red and navy of the card faces better than the silver tones of the blue deck. 
The cork cards feature a great design across the board. All of them are reminiscent of their bicycle standard brethren with similar positioning and the familiar implements that manage to retain the fresh design choices made by DK and G. Also in the box are a pair of Sugar Skull inspired jokers, a DKNG and Art of Play double backer ad card, and a utility card designed to replace another card in the event that you should accidentally lose or destroy one. These are great decks, a fresh take on an old standard with versatility and style, a worthy addition to any collection. The decks are still available on artofplay.com and through the DKNG Studio website. Playingcarddecks.com also has them in stock and if you use the promo code GENTLEMAN10, you get 10% off your entire order, not just these cards. There's also a way for you guys to win a deck of the green wheel playing cards directly from me. Just follow these steps. One, like this video. Two, be subscribed to this channel. And three, comment below with the name of the recording artist that I mentioned in this review. Before I announce the winner of the Bicycle Windup Playing Cards, I promise to remind you guys to visit the new Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. Please take a look at the welcome video. I hope you'll consider supporting this channel with one of the offered patronage tiers. I wanna emphasize that the content you've come to expect on this channel will always be free but one of the exclusive perks of being a patron is early access to the regular channel content and exclusive access to special featured videos designed to show you a kind of behind the scenes look at how things get done around here. In fact, the first video on that Patreon page is a guided tour of the space I like to call the gentleman's study. There's a lot more to go over, so please, please, visit the page and check it out. Finally, congratulations to Beastmaster Gaming for winning the Bicycle Windup Playing Cards. Contact me to claim your prize. I have been The Gentleman Wake. See you next time. On a warm summer's evening In an Uber to Chipotle The driver played the gambler And I thought up this parody So I dressed like Kenny Rogers 